All right, a couple of $50 uh, questions. Uh, many people have, and I think rightly so, identified the religious aspects of leftist pro-ideologies such as anti-racism, climate act activism, social justice, etc. Do you think they are, as Peterson hints at, religious substructures that are inherent? No. I think what is inherent is the need of people to have an explanation for the world around them. What is inherent is for people to need an explanation and to have an ideal, to have something to fight for, to have something to believe in, to have something to strive towards. And that could be adoration to Donald Trump, adoration to the state, adoration to your tribe. All of those have religious elements to them. I think the, the Trump syndrome is a, there's a religious element to that. Anything he does, he's like, Jesus walks on water. As he said, he said that in the campaign, he said, I could shoot somebody in the middle of Fifth Avenue and get away with it. Only religious people would do that, right, would, would vote for that. So there's definitely a religious element in any of these. Now, I have spoken. I did a show on, um, on uh, race, uh, what do you call it, uh, um, white fragility. And there's no quite, and, and about anti-racism, I did a few shows on anti-racism. Definitely religion. I've done a show, a whole show, about intersectionality and how religious that is. Right? And thank you, John. John here is on, on the chat, and he says he's, he'd never heard of me until the Lex podcast, and he's excited to be exposed to, I don't think I'm a great mind, but to a, a mind... Like Iran's on the internet. Great. I mean, welcome, John. Thank you for joining us. This, this is great. This is why I do what I do um, and, and why I did that interview. And, and I'm, I'm so excited about bringing new people into the fold, into our little universe here of fighters for future. Uh, and look, so they need, they need an explanation for the world. That's what philosophy serves. But philosophy requires you to think. Philosophy requires you to integrate. Philosophy requires you to understand. Unfortunately, people are lazy. So combine laziness with the need for an explanation and you get religion. And then religions can come with various forms. So it's not that we have a substructures that are inherently religious. It's that religions satisfy a real need to know, to understand the world. And again, anti-racism, everything's in terms of racism. It's religion. Climate activism, you've got, who, you've got people who need to sacrifice. You've got saints. You've got original sin. You've got all the characteristics. The same with social justice or, or intersectionality. But the same again with, with Trump and the same with certain aspects of the right. It's the same kind of... Kind what we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the role of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it, but, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there. Help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbrookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals. 
uh, and uh, and show your support for all for, for for the work for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And uh, and of course don't forget if you're not a subscriber even if you even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.